Hi, and welcome to Kompsky Corner. Today we're going to be looking at an overview of the OCR GCSE Computer Science course, focusing on the course structure and what you will be learning throughout the course. The course is structured in a way that you will take two one and a half hour long papers for computer science at the end of year 11. Each of these are worth 80 marks and 50% of your final GCSE grade. These will test your knowledge on the theory covered throughout the two years and you are sadly not allowed a calculator for any of the two papers. As well as these exams, you will undertake an NEA or a non-examined assessment. This is where you will choose one of three programming tasks set by OCR and you will have 30 hours of lesson and homework time to write and analyse a program for one of these tasks. The NEA is a chance for you to apply some of the theory you learn in the course, particularly that of Paper 2, to a real programming situation, as well as to begin to learn a programming language. Now let's take a closer look into what you'll be learning for each of the two papers. The course content is split between the two papers. Paper 1 focuses on computer systems themselves. So, looking at the parts that make up a computer, including its architecture like registers and buses, as well as the different types of memory and storage. You will also look at different computer networks, and their advantages and disadvantages, and how we can maintain the security of these networks from threats such as hacking, malware, and phishing attempts. Lastly, for Paper 1, the course covers system software such as utility programs, sound and images, and the ethics surrounding computer science, including legal, ethical, cultural, and environmental ethics. Paper 2, however, is more programming-based, as you learn about algorithms, the fundamentals of programs, and ways in which you can make robust programs. This all includes looking at sorts and searches, abstraction and decomposition, as well as different data types and testing methods too. Also in paper two, you will look at Boolean logic in the form of logic gates and truth tables, as well as the different types of programming languages and the translators and IDEs used in computers to process the instructions in these languages. In this video, we have looked at an overview of the OCR GCSE computer science course looking at the course structure and the content covered. If you have enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more computer science related videos. See you next time. Bye.